on or attempt to demonstrate this the best that I can. So the main sticking point is getting a solid connection because on that header because it's a push in and it's just prone to breaking connection but it's not too bad if you put a bit of sideways force on it. I, I don't have too much of an issue. So I've got it plugged into the appropriate connections on the FC there. I haven't got Moldy Wii open because you've got to plug this in first. So I'll plug that in first. You can see I haven't got any lights on there so I've got to jiggle it around a little. So now I've got the two LEDs on on the FC so I've got a good solid connection there. It's down level. Now I'll go open up uh, Moldy Wii. And we've got the appropriate port there, the one that USB modem. So I'll click on that. Click start. Now you can see the RX LEDs flashing on and off, indicating it's connected. Um, and if I move it around, we've got gyro movement there. So there's going to be no LED on on in the lemon because we haven't got the RX turned on yet. So it is powered, but it's not getting a signal from the RX or from the microcontroller, so it's not indicating that it's on. I think that's how it works. It's got power, but it's not actually switched on. So now I'll turn the TX on, and then we should see red light come on on the lemon in a sec. So there's the red light on on the lemon. TX is on, so we've got a good connection. So then you can see when I move the throttle, we're getting throttle response and the same with all the other sticks. We've still got gyro connection. Now if you find, if this connection breaks here, you'll get the lemon red LED flashing, which indicates like a brownout or a broken connection. So, But as long as you hold it firmly, it should be pretty right. If that happens, you've really got to start again. Um, so calibrate the accelerometer, it's just the same as it would normally be with any alien or anything in Moldywee. I've got it on a flat surface or connected up. Just hit calibrate accelerometer. We're looking for around 511, 512 there, which it is there floating around there. And just click right. So that's as per normal. Now I've just got it set up uh, for switch arming on AUX1 up there, uh, my flight modes on AUX2 so I've got angle on low position, horizon on mid position and default acro would be on third position. Uh, now just check the arming here, so that's on this switch over here. Now you can see it's moving up on AUX1 there but it's not actually turning green, it is a little bit glitchy for some reason. But anyway, it works if I do it enough times. I don't have too much of a problem with the quad. I'm not sure why that is, but it's definitely arming okay. Same thing with the um, flight modes. You'll watch if I switch that switch there, there's acro at the top, horizon in the mid position, and angle in the low position. Uh, I'll just try that. Yeah, I don't know why it's not arming, but it, I can assure you it's not a problem. If the switch is working there, it should be arming. I don't have a problem when it's actually connected up. Uh, so I think that's about all I can tell you. And as I say, the biggest bugbear is this connection. But as long as you can hold that nice and firmly and not break the connection, you shouldn't have too much problem. Uh, don't worry about asking us any questions that you want to. It's not a problem at all, John. I'm happy to help. Right out, good luck and I'll hear from you. Bye. Demonstrate that that arming isn't really an issue. I don't know why it does that in the GUI. I'll just show you here. Uh, so just connect that up. Turn my TX on. Wait for the lemon light to come on. Make sure that throttle's down so the lemon red LED's on. And I'll flick the arming switch there. Now see it's flat. Now there we have solid connection on that LED there, the TX one. And if I fly it, no problem.
Right out. See you, John. Bye. <laughs>